everyone, Just for Sweets here. Today we're going to make something really easy, really fun, really delicious, and you can even get your kids involved in this one. I have some uh, grand cinnamon rolls, some big ones, that are in my fridge that I need to use up, and I thought, what a great idea. I'm going to make cinnamon roll waffles, doing another video on using your waffle iron in different ways. So the last video I did was how to make hash browns in a waffle iron, so go back and check out that video. And this one, I am going to make the cinnamon roll waffles. So basically, all you need to do is preheat your waffle iron. I've been preheating mine for about 10 minutes now. It's pretty warm. You want to go ahead and just throw some cooking spray on there to make sure nothing sticks. And then we are going to utilize our, our uh, I can't talk, <laughs> our cinnamon rolls. So you have an option, you can use syrup of these or use everything in the can and use up the frosting that they give you with it. Now these are pumpkin, I got them around Christmas and we never used them. And I don't wanna waste them because you know, food costs money, it's expensive. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna use them for something different and you can always tell when they're getting old, they start to break apart. So we're gonna use these up so we don't waste them. So I'm gonna put a cinnamon roll in each little corner or each square. If they fall apart, just re-roll them, no biggie. In each square of my waffle iron. And this one, when you get the bigger cinnamon rolls, they usually have five per container, so then you'll have one loner by itself. Go ahead and put that in there. We are going to go ahead and we're going to shut our waffle iron. And we're going to let these just sit in here and cook for about three to four minutes. So we'll be back and I'll show you what to do. Okay, and while those are cooking, I'm going to show you what to do with the glaze that we're going to pour over these amazing waffles. Now, like I said, these are pumpkin, so you can use any kind. They have the, the orange cinnamon rolls or the orange cream cheese, regular cream cheese cinnamon rolls, um, just plain cinnamon rolls, any one you want to use. And basically all I'm doing is taking the frosting that goes on top and I'm going to put it in a microwavable bowl. If you could smell my kitchen right now, you would be in heaven. I know I am. This is a very naughty breakfast, but I'll tell you what, Valentine's Day is around the corner. And this you could make for your special Valentine. You could make it for dinner or breakfast, it doesn't matter. Or you could even make it for dessert. Go ahead and stick these in the waffle iron. And then uh, go ahead and either throw a scoop of ice cream on top or maybe some fresh berries and then drizzle your glaze over the top of that. That would be amazing. You would so impress your date. So like I said, make a dessert out of it. Have fun with it. Play with your food and decide what you want to do with it. But this would be a fantastic dessert with strawberries or blueberries or blackberries or even bananas on top would be really good. So basically, I put this in a microwavable dish. I'm going to stick it in the microwave for about 30 to 45 seconds. Okay, so I just pulled off two of them. You can see how perfect and amazing these are. Look at that. They're cooked awesomely. They are so yummy. I did this, the uh, glaze for 30 seconds in the microwave. I'm going to show you what to do with those. I have the other two that I have to pull off. Now, you see the dark? All that is is that yummy cinnamon and pumpkin together. I'm going to put those to the side. But you can see they are nice, dark, rich brown. We're going to put those to a side because I'm going to show you a little trick that you can do. While I do that, we'll put that last cinnamon roll on. Complete our little yummy dessert or meal here. Okay, let's go ahead and shut that and wash my hands. I'm going to show you how yummy this glaze is or how easy it is. And you're utilizing every part of your cinnamon roll, so there's no waste. Basically, like I said, I put it in there for 30 seconds. All we're going to do is take that, and we are just going to drizzle that right over the top. Put some fresh berries on the side, and you have an amazing meal, dessert, breakfast, whatever you want. I want to get a really close look so you can see that. Look at that. Doesn't that look spectacular? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to try this. And it's so easy. Anybody can do it. You can even get your kids involved and do this, this um, 
this idea, let them do this uh, for mommy or daddy or I don't know, maybe brother, sister, anybody that they want to do it for. Super, super easy and fun. I want to show you a little trick because it is Valentine's Day. We're going to throw a little special something in there. So I'm going to move these to the side. And let's go ahead and bring over one of the other ones. And what you can do is if you have a nifty cookie cutter, now this one probably is a little big, but we're going to make it work. I'm using a heart shape because it is Valentine's Day. And we're going to go ahead and we are going to just push that down and then peel off the excess just like so. Don't waste this. Just use this and dip it right in the glaze. It'll be amazing. In fact, we might have to do that so I can try these. Mmm. Cooked perfect. Very, very good flavor and cooked throughout. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to wipe up that plate a little bit. I just have a wet paper towel here. We're going to plop that through. And this is just a really cute idea for Valentine's Day. Go ahead and take a little bit of glaze. You could even take white chocolate or dark chocolate and put it all around the plate and have a great presentation for your Valentine for their delicious, yummy cinnamon roll waffle. I hope you had fun with this. I'm gonna have a couple more waffle iron um, ideas that we can do just to make it fun and find different ways to pull that waffle iron out of your cupboard and use it because I don't utilize mine often enough. Uh, it usually comes out only a couple times a year and I have just decided that there is just some fun things that we can do with it. So we'll have some more upcoming videos of that. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you give me a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. I also have a page on Facebook. It's under Just For Sweets. You can go on there and like the page. I kind of post like the desserts and, and everything I make, uh, special orders for people. So until then, until next video, next time, I'm having a hard time talking, can you tell? Have a wonderful day, everyone, and God bless.